All right, we're on to the testing phase of the rocket mass heater. And we had an incident last night. It didn't go so well the first time I lit it. Right around here, we were getting some some smoke coming back out. It didn't really have a good draft. It, the rocket effect wasn't happening very well. This is a brick on top just to control the airflow a little bit. If I restrict the airflow, it even pulls it down stronger. So even if this wood burns up, burns up higher, it'll pull the flame right back down. Um, what happened last night was uh, the smoke came back in here. Basically, our whole house smells like a fireplace now. We had to open the doors and let in the air from outside, which was probably 15 degrees or something, and change out the air because my carbon monoxide alarms went off which it's always good to have when you have something like this just to make sure you're monitoring what you're breathing in your home I did some calculations um, just a little bit more research online and found out that my exhaust was a little smaller than my riser and it just wasn't allowing enough air down to get that rocket effect now I knew the exhaust was smaller, but I figured when the air hits the top of this barrel and it cools and it comes down, there would be enough cooling effect to compress it more and it would be able to push it through my exhaust system here. But it wasn't quite enough. You know, I, radiuses make a huge difference in uh, the amount of area of air moving through a mass. So to give you an idea, my stack or my riser it is about six and a half inches uh, in diameter and these where the exhaust is going through the cinder block this is five inches in diameter so five times five you're getting 25 square inches moving through there whereas six times six is 36 so between 36 and 42 square inches coming through the exhaust. More air in, not enough place for air to go out, so it forced the air back out here and we got smoke in the house. What I did was I added a second pipe. This is just a three inch pipe I picked up at Home Depot today and I just put it right down there beneath the barrel where the exhaust come down and direct um, direct that exhaust out, I mean directly out, without running through anything. So I knew we'd get the a release of pressure there to allow um, pressures to equalize and start the rocket effect. And that's what did it. Looks like we're smoking out the greenhouse now. We did yesterday, but this is not smoke. This is steam, mostly steam. I'm sure we have a little bit of carbon monoxide and some definitely some carbon dioxide but you can see that I can breathe it in breathe it out you can't do that to a fireplace so basically it's just it's cold in here so you can see my breath that's just steam coming out so we have this is the exhaust after it's run through um, the cinder blocks there and then that's just the three inch pipe that allow the pressure to come out there. So just a little bit of tweaking here to get the rocket effect to happen and things to burn more efficiently. It is burning efficiently. Yesterday, without that, we had black smoke coming out of here. And this place, was, I was concerned for the chickens. I had to open the door and vent this place as well as venting our house. I'm really glad it, it worked out. So we just got the steam coming out for the exhaust. I just, you know, cracked a window and opened the vent up there just to allow some airflow. I don't want the chickens to have too much carbon dioxide, even though plants would love it and grow better. But uh, now that we have chickens in there, we're not gonna do that so much. If I put more pieces of wood in here, you'll be able to hear the rocket effect a little bit better. See that normally, fire burns up. This fire burns sideways because the air is coming down right there. 
So that's the update on testing phase two. I'm glad it actually ended up working this time. There's quite a bit of heat coming off that barrel. It's, it's really hot. It's very hot. Now the bench, this has been burning for over 30 minutes now. The bench is, mm, it's about room temperature now. It used to feel cold, but now it's just uh, starting to warm a little bit. And it's getting warm on the sides down here. Now over time, the heat's gonna be passed on into the cinder blocks, and this is, that's why it's a rocket mass heater. This is the mass we wanna heat up right here. And this will continue to heat the home during the night after fire goes out. So, that is your update. It's been a, a few weeks since we started. because we Maybe a couple of weeks, I guess. But, we only have days here and there. A few hours here, a few hours there to work on it. It's December 17th now, and it's going to get down to negative 7 tonight, our coldest night by far. And so I'm really glad to finally just get this thing working right. You can hear that rocket effect a little bit now. I might tweak it a little bit. I still want to do some more tests. I want to adjust the riser up and down a little bit and see if that creates a better rocket effect or not. We just want to get the most efficient burn and collect as much heat as we can and I can play with uh, restricting some air out of that little pipe to force it more through the exhaust once it all warms up it should burn more efficiently work even better wow I'm just standing here next to the barrel it's nice and hot all right rocket mass heater works I'm pretty excited a little extra heat in our home tonight.